Kaiser, developer of Budamind, the very first app to measure and track your meditation with a heart rate monitor. And today I'm going to be reviewing uh, some of the new Bluetooth LE heart rate monitors that are actually on the market. So I'm going to start with the Polar H7, uh, available on Amazon, sporting goods stores, everywhere. Um, it's my personal favorite for Bluetooth um, LE heart rate monitors. And um, so it's this little device, and then it comes with a strap that you put on. The strap has two little buttons here. You just snap right in. Uh, on the back, there's conductive rubber that actually sends an electrical current across your chest to measure when your heart is beating. So I'll put it on for you and show you how it goes on. So there's a snap here where it just kind of hooks in. It's a bit difficult to put on, but you get used to it pretty quickly. And then you just make sure it's right about here on your chest. And then snap one side, snap the other side. And then you go ahead and you open up your app, whatever you're using. If you're running, you'll open up your running app, like Endomondo. Uh, you know, if you're meditating and you're using Budamind, you'll open up the Budamind app. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see, you might not be able to see the screen so clearly this uh, webcam isn't that great, so let me see if I can pull it up for you. So let's see, can you see it? No, 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 kind of, ah, uh, from the side a bit. So I tap, you can see Polar HR monitor, tap again, and we got a live feed, live feed of my heart rate. So it's pretty straightforward to put on, and in my experience, the Polar is the best heart rate monitor on the market. Um, just you don't need electro gel like you know if you look online on Amazon some people will say you need electro gel to get it connected and paired well. Um, in my case that hasn't been true at all maybe I'm just a really sweaty guy um, but it just works flawlessly. So that's the Polar H7 it's available on Amazon and if you go to BuddhaMindApp.com you'll actually see a link to make sure you get the right one. And so these H7s and Bluetooth LE heart rate monitors are only compatible with uh, the iPhone 4S and, and above. So if you get one of the new iPod Touches, it'll work with it too, or one of the latest iPads, it'll work with it. I think starting with from the 3. Moving on, I got the Wahoo Blue HR. Um, when I was developing Budamind, I wanted to make sure that it was compatible with all the Bluetooth LE devices out there on the market, so I went ahead and I also bought the uh, Blue HR, and I'll go ahead and open it up for you and give you a little bit of a demo. Um, so Blue HR has a completely different attachment method. Um, I'm sure Polar has a uh, patent on the way they connect, but this actually seems like a lot easier way of, to put on a monitor, so I'm going to show you. Instead of putting the monitor on on the side and sliding it around, you just put it on directly on you, and again, it has the conductive rubber on the back just like with the Polar, to send the electrical current through your chest. So, not that you can feel it, it's super low energy. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on, and show you how much easier this one is to put on. Snaps in. And then snaps in. So you can tell, the Blue HR is a lot easier to put on. Um, at least, you know, for the first couple times than the uh, Polar H7, but there's a huge problem with this one, and that is the fact that it loses your connection to your iPhone all the time. And I'm talking about you're running with Endomondo, all of a sudden half your run is gone. Um, it just randomly disconnects, and it's a fatal flaw. I mean, the, um, the Polar H7 really keeps a connection, keeps it going, so um, I don't know. Maybe Wahoo will release a better version, or maybe I just got a terrible uh, demo model, but I really just see it not functioning nearly to the level of the Polar H7. So, that being said, I recommend everybody go out and get the Polar H7 if you're interested in tracking your heart rate. Um, I initially got into these because I wanted to track uh, when I was doing cardio and running. I wanted to make sure I was in uh, the target 80% of my maximum heart rate and 
you know, after about 10 runs, I no longer needed the uh, heart rate monitor while running. And so, you know, I just got the ability to tell where I was. Um, but it's a super cool device. There's more and more apps being made for it. Highly recommend it. Um, both of these run about 80 to bucks. And um, they're, they'll probably come down in price. And, you know, there's more and more apps coming out every day for it. So, thanks for watching. Um, good luck.